What's going on guys? So we have made it to the Moore Expo. Got all set up and ready to go. Let me tell you, there's a big old storm front that came through and uh, it almost stopped complete traffic on the, on the highway. It was hail, it was raining like crazy, couldn't see nothing in front of you. It was pretty bad, but we made it here and uh, we're ready to roll. So I'll show you around camp real quick. Um, this is at the, uh, the fairgrounds here in Springfield. So we got it all, got it all set up over here on the side. It was a little muddy in some spots, but there's a lot of people out here camping. So can't wait till tomorrow. Um, tonight they have a, a VIP party that uh, we're gonna be at. We've got some live music and uh, things going on there tonight, tomorrow night, and Saturday night. So can't wait. It's gonna be fun. I'm ready to start this party up. But I'm gonna go walk around and see what kind of see what kind of the rigs are out here. I always love seeing uh, new ideas and what other people are doing. So. Let's, uh, let's look at our, our setup here and then we'll, we'll venture out over there. This cool setup over here, this alley cab, complete cab, camper, pretty sweet. Definitely the way to go. That's outfitted pretty nicely. This is uh, Paul, I met him online. Um, he's from Florida as well, and we uh, kind of Kind of drove in together a little bit. Um, he was about an hour south of me and then I had to catch up, but his setup's pretty nice. Has an alley cab as well, roof nest tent. Got the uh, annex room and everything. Really nice. Got some ground tents. This little setup over here. What's going on, guys? Good. How you doing? Good. Hey, hey. Is that your Jeep back there in the corner? Huh? Is that your Jeep back there in the yes, corner? Yes, sir. That's pretty nice. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. So these guys over here, right here, these guys are from Canada. Oh God. Oh man. And, and, and they follow the channel. That's pretty cool. Number one channel. <laughs> Click that button. That's right. And share. What's going on guys? Hey, Let's hang out. Yeah, just chilling, man. So let's see the like setup, man. So this is the new rig? This is my new rig, buddy. Yeah. Starting out. Check her out. Yeah, man. Uh -huh. 
Got the old leather in here. We got all by a lot of junk in the back, but yeah, I'm sure you know the jits of all this oh, yeah, stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. You know I mean? One looks like that too. <laughs> <laughs> beer oh, man. yeah. You like beer oh, man? yeah, man. We'll set this down for. Heck yeah. Sweet guys. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, man. Cheers. Appreciate it. So what you guys sleeping in over here? Old school. Yeah. <laughs> I actually just got one of these. Well, not this brand, but yeah. I got I got one of these uh, for the wife and kids. Oh, you know. yeah, What's going on guys? So today is the first day of the Moore Expo. Last night was amazing. Got down to about uh, 41 degrees. So I was all uh, blanketed up, but it was, a, it was a great night's sleep. But uh, this morning we got up, had some breakfast, had some coffee, and uh, Expo opens up, at, opens up at 10. So it's uh, a little after 10. So we're gonna get in here and see what it's all about pretty excited like I said this is the first time I've ever been here so it's pretty badass um, camping around some really cool people uh, that I met while, while I'm up here and it's been a great time but let's get into the expo guys see what it's about What's going on guys? So um, I ran across my favorite light guys. You know, if, if you've watched my channel, then you know what my favorite light is and that's Devo's. Man, this light has been a lifesaver for myself and many of my friends. And uh, I've also introduced it to many, many people out camping. But uh, I'm here with Rich. How's it going, man? How's it going? And uh, he has some, uh, some, some new products that I, I haven't seen yet. So. Yeah. Um, awesome. Why don't you tell me about them a little bit? What uh, sure. what do you got new? Well, maybe the first thing I'll do is show our upgrade. <laughs> I'm, not sure, I'm not even sure if you know about this one. Okay. So we went from USB micro to USB-C, fast charge protocol. So now you can charge it, uh, what is it 60% in an hour and then full charge in under four hours. Man. Yeah, so you, you gotta get hooked up. Uh, I gotta get me another one, cause, cause <laughs> it, trying to find that other cord, because all my phones, they take the USB-C, yeah. so it's like, bam, so now I gotta, I have to carry that extra cord, but I mean, it's not a big deal, but no, it's it, been it's working. No, it's helpful, yeah. and it's fast charge. Yeah, absolutely. So along with that, we've introduced the 20 watt solar panel, which is also fast charge. Oh, wow. And so you can snap the Light Ranger right into the top, plug your USB-C cord from here, into the end has a USB output. Nice. And then you're set. In uh, full summer sun, you can charge the same. Mm -hmm. 50, uh, 60 percent in an hour. 
and full charge in about four hours. Wow. It has to be summer sun. That is really no cool. No rainy or cloudy this year. That is really cool. Yeah. Another new option we have are these, uh, these lens filter kits. Yep. This is the darkest one. It's red, and this kind of demonstrates how it works, but uh, turn that baby on, and now you've got where you can see the stars at night, and you have night vision preserved. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, you know, um, I, I, myself and my two other buddies that we always go out with, uh, we, we bought those as soon as those things hit the website. Right. Like, I saw, the, I saw it on Instagram, and I was like, uh, nope, let's, let's, let's go get them. Three colors. I was like, I, I got to have that. I got to have that. So It's worked out well for you? Yes. Awesome. Yes, very well. Um, the, the, the yellow or the amber we use for the bugs. Um, and then uh, this one here is nice because it's, it's like a, I guess like a little campfire kind yeah, of. Gives you that yeah. feel, that vibe, doesn't it? And then this one, obviously, like you said, I mean, it's, it's been right. great because you put it on. We have the, the, the campfire going and it's just that little bit of light in the back. And it's, it's, been, it's been great. So, And then uh, I, see, I see you got another, another set over here. We like, do, what, yeah. what, what is this? We just introduced a budget model. So the, the original oh, model was 1,200 lumens. Mm -hmm. This little guy is 800 lumens. So if you feel like you don't need the full 1,200 lumens and you want to save a little bit of cash, this is it. This is your this is your baby. So look at that. It uh, still has some of the same functions. Uh, you go from four panels to two instead of four okay. to two to one. Yep. Um, but it's still USB-C, nice. and it still works with the solar panel. Nice. And it's a great little light. It only goes eight feet instead of nine. Okay. So it compacts down into a smaller space. Nice. That's that's, that's really cool. The new the 800. That's really cool. What uh what kind of specials you got going on? I mean so I know right so, now it's different. Right. But by the time this airs, will be Wednesday. Wednesday. So. Unfortunately, no, I'm not no, the marketing no guy. deals. I don't know what the deals okay. Are. Well, listen. Get on the website devos.com. Right. Devosoutdoors.com. Devos Devos I always met no outdoor. Ads. Outdoor, Devo yeah. Outdoor. Devo's Outdoor. Okay. Yeah. I always mess that up. <laughs> it's all right. So, But uh, anything else you got going on? We uh, have a slam steak. Oh, this, this thing. This here last year. Okay. This, I, I, I haven't even seen this, though. So this I don't know why. This is a steak that fits our lights, and it uh, it's, has a, a built-in hammer. Nice. So if you get to a rocky ground, or any ground, actually. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. You're, uh, you have a, a very sturdy steak on the ground. That is really cool. It also cool. comes with an adapter. Uh, the opening is an inch and a quarter, mm -hmm. but you can use this adapter to get a one inch pole and a three quarter inch pole in. It's great for umbrellas and flagpoles or whatever oh, wow. in your yard. Man. Soccer games. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's right. Just just really bringing out the market. And guys, if you, if you haven't checked it out, definitely check them out. Um, I'm a 100% supporter. Uh, I have been for a year now, and I can't go without it. Thank you. So thanks. That's that's a nice pitch. That. <laughs> we really do. And keep watching because we have more accessories coming. Okay. Perfect. Um, throughout uh, this next summer. Oh. Some add some things. Well, you already got really me cool. sold. So, yeah. guys, check them out. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, you bet. Taking your time, and uh, guys, get on there, check them out. I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it just as much as I do. Hey guys, so uh, I'm inside of the Moore Expo and I came across a very, very unique way to have a fire pit or a water fountain. And uh, at Tom's Fire Pits, man. So this is Tom. What's going hey. on, man? Hey, how are y'all doing? Doing good, yeah. man. Doing good. So, man, this is really wild. Like, I, 
I like this. This is really cool. Thank Unique. You. I, I haven't seen anything like it. Thank so. you. Thank you. What inspired you to do this? A few years ago, my sister wanted a fire pit that would mm -hmm. last forever and something that was family themed. Okay. And so I drew a horse pit uh, because our family loves horses and and. Well, I'm from then, Ocala, so I know about horses. Okay, yeah, and <laughs> so since then, some of her friends saw the fire pit, and okay. it's just, they were like, hey, we want one, and then someone said, well, can you draw deer, and someone else says, well, can you draw a beach scene, and then someone says, well, can you draw Star Wars, mm -hmm. Death Star, so I uh, start just listening to the customers and what different people want so I mm -hmm. just hand draw hand cut out everything that I do here that is so. really cool so what are they made out of uh, this one here is 304 Pittsburgh stainless steel okay uh, and it'll last forever I don't know maybe 8,000 years and these other pits are a quarter inch thick high carbon steel oh wow so they should last I don't know 800 years or whatever okay where to where can they find you at? On tomsfirepits.com. Okay. So, Do you ship uh, these out or? I usually try to personally deliver. Uh, oh, wow. And my clientele don't mind meeting me. Okay. So I. Yeah, because I can I, imagine these things have to be, uh, yeah. how much they weigh? Uh, approximately about 250 pounds oh, okay so yeah. so at least they're not going nowhere yeah <laughs> no. you know i live in florida so you know we get hurricanes and you know i've things like that drove so some to maine i've drove them to california i've drove them to calgary canada mm -hmm. i drove them to colorado texas new mexico louisiana so I've that's awesome man. everywhere so sweet man well it was yeah. a pleasure meeting you well thanks and uh I, I'm going to show my wife this one over here because that's the one that Absolutely. she would want. Absolutely. And, uh, all but, they're all unique, one of a kind. Yeah. Uh, family heirlooms that will last for forever. That's so, awesome, man. Yeah. Well, dude, thank you for taking Thanks. the time. Yeah. Appreciate it. It was nice meeting you. Yeah, so, guys, you. check out Tom's Fire Pits on his website. Uh, it's Tom's, tomsfirepits.com. Yes. So, check them out. They have some pretty unique stuff. So, you make custom... Custom as is, or you have stuff that templated? Yes, I have a, you tell me what you want that you see on my website, and I'll make you something pretty close to it. All right, guys, you heard that, so well, I appreciate it again. Thank you. What's going on guys so this is day two of the more expo and man if you haven't been out here i think it's worth your time to come on out it's not as big as the uh the larger expos but i think it's just right i mean they are expanding uh i think next year and the year to come but uh I honestly man I'm enjoying it so the campsite you get to you know be around some some really cool people and the vendor spots I mean it's 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 great so again you ever been out here come on and check it out Springfield Missouri I mean, if you're from Florida like I am it's about a 16 hour hike depending on where you live in Florida. So, 
but a lot of people came in last night so the campsite completely filled up so today's gonna be a great day can't wait Let's see what we can get into across a buddy of mine on Instagram. We go back and forth a lot. Uh, Jeremy from uh, 35, or 813 eight, Fabrication. I always, I always mess it up, guys. You know, you know, you know me. But um, anyways, I, I, he's, he's out here at the Bore Expo, and man, let me tell you, this is Jeremy. If you guys don't know Jeremy. What's up, guys? Um, dude, he comes out with some, some, some killer stuff, man. Thank I, you. And, and one thing I like about it is he doesn't release a product that he wouldn't run himself. You know, so that tells a lot. I mean, yeah, no, I, I don't put anything out. If it's, if it's not useful, if it's not easy to use, easy to install, lasts a while, that was the reason I don't do anything in steel. It's all going to be <laughs> aluminum. Nice. If, if you put your money out there, I mean, it's, it's something I want you to feel like you spent your money well on. So, yeah. Guys, if you have. Um, if you have a Gladiator uh, with uh, the IUCAB uh, camper, we just, we're unveiling this guys, you got to check it out, man. He, there's so many things that you have. There's, there's so many new things. Like, a lot of stuff. Yeah, there's, a lot of small parts, yeah. there's stuff that I see that come across my feed, and I'm just like, what? <laughs> like, why didn't I think of that? You know. So, um, and then also, I mean, it doesn't. It's not just for that. I mean, you have a couple more products too. Like. Yeah, no, we've got a JL at home, so I've got a bunch of stuff from JL now that's coming out. Um, I've done some one-off parts mm -hmm. for some Rams and a few other things. Uh, so I'm still, I'm trying to get out there and do some more different things. The Tacomas, the Tundras, is something I'm definitely going to be focusing on some more. Uh, Perfect. I get a lot of questions about those. That's awesome. Especially with the Alu cabs. I mean, the, the Tacoma is basically the number between the Gladiator oh, yeah. and the Tacoma. They seem to be the most used for the Alu cab. Absolutely. And you have a lot of brackets for the uh, the ARB, correct? Uh, I have about 10 different mounts for ARB compressors, but the way that I design everything is very modular. So almost every mount, you can mount either the ARB twin or the single and pretty much any of the wire compressors. So nice. it's actually device, you know, you can use it for multiple things. There's a couple for under the hood that are single, ARB single only, but Obviously, with the, the gladiators, there's hardly any space. So, yeah. Sorry about the diesel guys, because yeah. there's really not a whole much. No, I can do. <laughs> no. I and you know, I I run the diesel, so I, I I still look at stuff that you come out with, and I can't wait to. Uh, yeah, I have my eye on a couple of things. Um, yeah. I was originally going to do the 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 air on the side with the uh, what is it the uh, four by air. The, yeah, the four <laughs> by air. Um, but yeah, honestly, cool. <laughs> well. 
I, I went a different route, but I was, I was, man, I was, I was real close because I already, I had the port, the panels actually ordered in. Yeah. So from Jeep, and I was like, ah, and then, and then, then I, I just went a, a different route with it. But um, I like that, and then uh, storage box, so it deletes the uh, the plastic around the uh, gladiators uh, under the seat yeah. for storage. You have some really cool setups for that, and I like those yeah. too, man. That one, are... Again, that one's versatile. You can do mm -hmm. solid panel, full molly panel. You can mix and match. Uh, it's, I like to, I, I tell people that it's theft deterrent. It's not It's not a lock box. It's not any kind of high security thing. I mean, obviously anybody wants in it, they're gonna snap yeah. the seat pretty easy. Yeah. But it does have the locking seat brackets, so you bolt them to the seat locks it to the bin so it's it's something good if you got your doors off and you run out and you know someone's not going to come and snatch something quick yeah so that's kind of the idea oh, yeah. hey man it, it works so and it's a little more space i mean it does the way i've got it set up it sits out in underneath the seat a little bit more so you do get a little bit more space with it, so. that's sweet man dude it's always a pleasure seeing you yeah, um you know uh I saw you last year over at uh, Jeep Beach, and then uh, I think I saw, I, saw, I saw you at a couple other shows too. Uh, man. I was at Jeep Beach, Jeep Invasion in Tennessee yeah. last year. Um, and most of the time we only get to link up because there's yeah. so many freaking people around, <laughs> and it's like I, I, I don't even have time to talk to them. So. Yeah, yeah, we'll uh, be at uh, definitely be at Overland East this year. Okay, uh, I'll we'll be there. Probably be set up with some other guys at our booth. Nice. Um, so come check us out at Overland East. We will definitely be there. Uh, mm -hmm. Couple of the other shows you might get to, so we'll see. What's the uh, website? 813fabrication.com. Okay. There. Um, I'm always online, so if you got <laughs> questions about anything, uh, to be honest, I mean, we are a small company. We, my main focus is just making cool stuff. Uh, so it's, I, I, I literally tell people all the time, it's like, I sell you customer service, you just get some cool parts with it. Yeah. So, and that's the way I look at it. I have, I honestly have no desire to be a huge company. I just want to make some cool stuff and things that people want to use. And that's, that makes me happy. So. Hey, cool. can ask for more, man. Yeah, yeah. But dude, it's always a pleasure, brother. Absolutely, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Nice to see you in person again. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's uh, let's take a look at the Jeep. That's yeah, that's yeah. what that's what uh, you know. What you really want to see. see. So, yeah. <laughs> so let's take a look. Guys, if you get a chance, check these guys out. Um, he is, uh, he's got some really quality stuff and uh, you won't go, you, <laughs> you'll definitely be happy with the product, I'll put it that way. So uh, guys, let's see what else we can find.
Good morning guys, so the more expos all over and we had a heck of a time met some new people new friends and uh, I got some plans for the future to hang out with a couple of them so in my book that's a success a lot of vendors a lot of cool stuff um, hope you guys like the the little the little ride around the uh, the whole the whole thing um, I stopped and talked to a few people and uh, just overall had an awesome time but I got the Warhawk all packed up right over here sorry about the Sun and uh, I'm pretty much all alone now everybody already left and uh, got out of here earlier so I just took my time this morning had my cup of coffee and just chilled out so I had a good time so it was a really 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 cool experience but I'm getting out of here head on back to the house because we got a we got a lot of stuff going on when we get back we got to take off the lights that are on on the Warhawk right now and and put the new Tyree lights in its place and we're ready for Jeep Beach so Jeep Beach we're planning on getting there either Wednesday or Thursday and it's gonna be a hell of a time so don't miss that one this video will come out probably about the time I go there so so I hope you guys enjoy but guys take it easy and we'll see you on the next one